welcome again to this uh, channel and this new video. In the previous video, I actually talked about how to register and come to the UK as a nurse. In this video, I'm going to tell you um, what you should carry and also what are the first things that you should do once you have arrived in the UK. Without further ado, let's start with what you need to bring with yourself to the UK. In the airport, make sure that you are having your documents and this includes your certificates, your license and your passport. And do not put these ones in, your, in the bag that you will be checking in. Put this in your carry-on bag, including your money. How much money will you need? I would recommend if your employer is providing you with employment um, something like 200 pounds because you'll only be needing that for food. I don't think there is anything else that you need because I don't expect you to buy a phone the moment you land in the UK or do shoppings for clothes, a lot of those when you land. Unless if you have money, absolutely you can even buy a car which I would highly recommend anyway. Food, um, there is a lot of discussion going around about this, how much food should you actually bring. Personally, when I came here, I really didn't bring any, I didn't bring any food because I knew there would be food here anyway. But um, you can just bring like one kilo of unga ugali uh, so that you can be eating that before you actually know where to get that from. Spices, 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 spices. Bring your spices from Kenya if you love your spices. Bring your Rico cubes and things like that if you love those because it, it's very difficult to find them in the UK. And if you do, then they are very expensive just before you start using the available ones uh, here. There are those people who love their fish. You can bring your fish like omena, but if baby omena with just a sweet case, well, you can if you want. <laughs> I wouldn't. Bring a muiko. They don't sell those ones in UK, and I'll tell you the reason because they don't eat ugali. So bring a muiko. Naiko muiko strong in yaita vunjika ukipika ugali. Clothes. Again, a lot of people have very different uh, opinions when it comes to clothes. I would recommend check the weather. Check the weather in UK. If it, if you will be arriving during the summer, there is no need of bringing heavy jackets. Uh, you can just uh, put on a light jacket or a sweater. Because again, never trust the British weather. If you are coming during the winter, uh, bring a jacket. You can bring a jacket. Um, depending with, again, the degrees. If it's like around zero degrees, then you will have to bring a heavy jacket uh, for that. You actually don't need a very, very heavy jacket. You can just get a normal jacket and then wear a hood inside. That's what I do. That's what I use. That's exactly what I would wear during the um, the autumn, spring, and winter. I wear the same kind of clothes: a hood inside and a jacket outside. And then, obviously, um, don't really don't bring a lot of clothes, ladies. Don't bring ladies. Please do not bring a lot of clothes to the UK, because within the next two months you will discover places to buy very nice and even cheaper clothes here than in Kenya and very nice clothes. You will buy a lot and you will not even know where to take the other kind of clothes. So leave Kenyan clothes in Kenya. You will be wearing them when you go back home. Just bring a few clothes. Personally, I only came to the UK with, I think, we, I only came here with one suitcase, to be honest. And I think since that time till now, I've tried to maintain just one suitcase because I don't like having a lot of things anyway. Right, personal items. This includes things like medicines. If you have a chronic condition like diabetes or hypertension or asthma, um, make sure that you're carrying your medications. I'd recommend have enough medication to last you for the next even three months because getting a GP appointment is not going to be easy. And especially because you are coming from overseas, 
it probably will be a bit complicated because they wouldn't have your history and all that. So bring uh, your medications. Obviously, toiletries, your toothbrushes, toothpaste, uh, to be, so that you can be using that time in your and to live in. Yeah, so basically those are the things that you should carry. And then obviously any other thing that you think is important. And then immediately you've landed in the UK. So hopefully your employer will arrange for your uh, accommodation and transport from the airport uh, to the house that you will be staying in. And then once you get there, the first thing that you should do is to look for a shop where you will buy a UK mobile uh, number. And obviously these numbers usually come with data plans uh, that you'd pay monthly. And then open a bank account, uh, possibly in the same day, so that uh, your employer will be paying you in that bank account, which is very important. That's the reason why Ulikuja you are okay. And then look for food. Look for food on your uh, mobile phone. There is an application called Google Maps. It will be your best friend when you land in the UK because here you do not ask for directions. Why? Because there are no people on the roads. Hakuna watu kwa barabara. And then register with a GP surgery because in the UK. You do not go to the pharmacy to buy medication. Medications are usually prescribed. So a GP is very, very important. And then you must learn how to use the buses and the trains. For the buses, there is an app that you can download that I really don't remember. Or you can simply use the Google Maps. For the trains, there is an app called Trainline. This, this will really come in handy. Uh, because it will show you when the trains are departing, on which plan, uh, platform, and actually how much it costs. And if you are below the age of 30, make sure that you also purchase a rail card, because that will mean that you are getting 30% um, discount on all your travels. And obviously, look for friends. If you're Kenyan, look for Kenyan friends. If you're Nigerian, look for Nigerian friends. Because these are the people who will actually show you around. They'll tell you where to go and where not to go. They'll tell you where to get your Kenyan food, where to get your Nigerian food, where to get your fufu, where to get your, your unga ugali, and also uh, where to go and have fun. And then just use your maps to just uh, go to where you will be working so that you're familiar, so that your time you have went to a job, you don't waste time looking for the hospital or your place of work. So basically, people, uh, that's it. That he, uh, uh, Of course, I've told you um, what to carry when you're coming to the UK. And also the things that you should do once you've arrived here. Keep subscribing, keep liking, watch the video till the end and share it with your friends and I hope it's been helpful. Thank you.